Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn about alias, how it works, how it can be added in a, a user account and what happens when there is one uh, or more than uh, one alias is added to an email address. So uh, alias comes in use when suppose there is one user. Uh, so for example, I have a user which has this email address skelly shepherd at 5062.onmicrosoft.com so this is the primary email address which is assigned by default when the user was created however this user wants that the email should also be reached to him if somebody mails to him at this email address skelly at 5062.onmicrosoft.com so what we can do is since this user want that email address sent to this particular address is also reached to the main email address to the primary email address. So what we can do is we can add an alias to this account. So in order to add the alias we need to navigate to active users office 365 admin center active users. So let's search for this user and uh, here it is this skelly shepherd i will open this one okay and here we have aliases i will click on this manage username and email i will put up skelly okay at 5062.onmicrosoft.com i will add this okay so the aliases will be added so you can see there is one uh, alias has been added which is this one skelly at 5062.onmicrosoft.com so whenever if anyone make a email to this uh, skelly so that particular email will be navigated to this uh, email inbox okay we'll see how so let's see that and before we check let me uh, also tell you one more thing that in order to use alias it is very necessary that user has a mailbox associated to it otherwise we cannot use uh, the alias feature so let me show you once it's saved okay let me show you so right now you can see that alias has been added and i am getting this option aliases because this user has e5 license assigned to it and this e5 license have mailbox with it it has an exchange license associated associated with this that is why the user could see alias option and let me show you another account uh, let's look into this account let's look into bangaro so this has a microsoft power automate free license assigned to it i'll open this okay and let it gets loaded completely so it, it is loaded now but there is no alias option here because this user does not have a mailbox so since this user has does not does not have any mailbox so the user cannot receive emails and since this user cannot receive emails there is no option of adding alias okay so this is the difference uh, of uh, aliases if you have an exchange license you can add alias but if you do not have any exchange license you can add you cannot add an alias so we have seen that how we can add an alias but what is the use of it in the practical situations so like i said we can send email to skelly as well okay so let's go to outlook and we'll draft an email and we'll send it to this email address okay skelly at 5062.onmicrosoft.com i'll just copy and i will click on new mail okay uh let's open this it's opening okay it's open now i will send the email to skelly at on microsoft.com and uh, it takes some time whenever you recently added us uh, alias it takes some time for the people picker to pick it up and uh, uh, also uh, the SharePoint tenant takes some time to uh, propagate all the changes in the environment. So uh, this is a test email. I am putting subject as a test. 
and hi this is test okay i will send it and i will navigate to other account i'll just open this account as well for you guys okay let's open a new tab oh my bad sorry office.com okay i will add the username and the password okay i will now sign in with that username okay let's click on sign in okay now i am just entering the username skelly shepherd and uh, i'm aware about the password because i created this account for testing purposes so i'm aware about the address let's click on sign in i am signed in now and we'll open the outlook for uh, this account okay it's open now let's click on outlook let's navigate to outlook and we'll see if the email has been sent or not okay let's see it's been sent and hi this is this is test and uh, uh, we could see that it is showing the email addresses and uh, the chat option here okay and let's navigate to the other account so you see that i have received the email uh, i have received the email from uh, the other account and it aut at, uh, automatically picks up the primary primary email address however we entered the alias but it actually picked up the primary email address and delivered the message to the primary email address so this is the benefit of it when whenever uh, email is being sent to this email address it will be navigated or it will be routed to the primary email address automatically okay so that's it for uh, today's video i hope uh, you find, find you find it uh, useful and again like i said in always my videos if you have any doubts feel free to reach out in the comments and uh, till then and see you in the next video till then happy learning goodbye